What's going on guys and welcome back to the University of Texas at San Antonio Roadrunners Dynasty here. We're 2-5 and five right now and I'm playing against another Conference USA opponent, the Houston Cougars, a B overall ranked team. And we have obviously had a pretty tough stretch of games up until this point. Our only wins are against New Mexico State and Texas State. And so the road is pretty tough looking ahead for the UTSA Roadrunners, but I think that I'm going to have a lot of fun continuing to play this Dynasty and going through multiple seasons and improving this team. Eventually maybe going to a major conference one. Well, let's focus on right now, guys. Texas Tech knocks off number two in the nation, TCU. And here's Houston taking the field on offense in the first quarter. Quarterback David Pilon hands the ball off to Charles Sims, who has a wide open hole to run through. He's in the UTSA territory inside the 40 yard line before he's brought down. And then on first and 10, Pilon in the pocket. He's going to find Greenberry. He's going to shake off one tackle and pick up a first down once again. And so Houston having the first couple of good plays in this drive. Off to a solid start. Sims underneath, inside the five, tackled at the two yard line. Make a second down and goal now. Want to apply the pressure, but Pilon is fine in the pocket and he's going to find his man in the end zone touchdown Cougars here early they score on their first possession and so now the Roadrunners take the field with Eric Souza under center hand the ball off to Evans Okacha up the middle but is immediately met and only gains a yard on the play bring up third down and nine trips right Souza in the pocket good protection and just pretty good coverage as well and so he ended up being hit as he threw the ball and now Houston gets the ball with great field position and Charles Sims goes nowhere on this play loss of three he's tackled by two Roadrunner defenders and that gives Houston back the ball, piling in the pocket. He's standing tall. I'm going to throw it deep to the end zone, and one-on-one, -on -one, it's almost intercepted. Would have been a pick for Darian Starling. But our defense does do a good job in holding the Cougar offense, and so now Souza back in offense. We want to throw the ball. Kenny Harrison makes the catch underneath. Seven yards on this passing catch. Second and three. Now run the ball. Evans Okacha up the middle. Not much room. Gets two yards on the play. And that brings up third down and short. Okacha up the middle again. He does barely get the first down, but at least the chains move, and this drive stays alive. Second down and five. Souza's going to throw from under center. Quick pass right side of the fullback. Nate Shaw, who's going to get close to the 50-yard line. Once again, a first down for the Roadrunners, and now we want to catch him off guard with a delayed hand out to Okacha, and some good blocking. Okacha gets the first down and more before being leveled, and he got shaken up a little bit. Souza back to pass on third and two. Jeremiah Moeller over the middle. Good drive from UTSA, stringing together the pass and the run to effectively move down the field. Souza then off the play action. He finds Brandon Freeman inside the five-yard line, tackled at the one. Hand the ball off to Evans Okacha on second and goal, and that caps off the touchdown. And so that had to have been one of the best overall drives. I've had with the UTSA Roadrunners in this series. So 7-7, seven seven, and Charles Sims escapes from one defender. Tristan Wade giving chase finally does catch him, but just bouncing off of tacklers. we got to be able to handle their running back, or he's going to torch us. Then piling out of the pocket, he's going to find Welford. He's going to get the first down, and then we can't tackle this guy. So he's inside the 10, 5 touchdown Cougars. So our inability to tackle allows them to get a lot of extra yards, and it's 14-7. to seven. Eric Souza under pressure. He does escape the pocket. He's going to get away, and he's going to get the first down before being tackled the 46 yard line that was nice I was sure I was gonna get sacked on that play second down and nine now as we try to get another successful drive going here for the Roadrunners and we're just trying to wait for somebody to get open and now we're gonna throw it deep and that's not the way I really predicted throwing the ball I always think I'm just like oh, I got a can I can launch it to the end zone he's gonna run to the spot but that was just a bad decision there interception for Houston they have the ball piling it up the screen he dodges the sack and then Sims breaks the tackle come on man and then Starline gets blocked and he gets some yards after the catch so come on guys we got to be able to play against this team it's only Houston it's not Alabama first and 10 piling out of the pocket he's launching it long touchdown Cougars that, I wasn't even sure I was going for that guy but hey nice catch Maxwell touchdown for the Cougars 21 to 7 starting to get a little out of hand here with some quick strikes for the Cougars and Okachas though getting us a first down on this drive we try to answer back here hopefully before halftime we get some more points on the board first and 10 Eric Souza under pressure Cam Jones over the middle first down road Runners close to midfield now, and uh, I don't know why we're so excited. We got to worry about getting getting points, not just first downs, guys. Third and four, Souza. He's gonna throw it left side, nearly intercepted. And uh, if I would have thrown a little bit earlier, maybe I could have gotten the complete pass. But now it's Houston ball again with 53 seconds to go in the first half. What can they get doing? Another screen pass attempt, and so we do sack him this time. Does not escape our, our rush. And we go to the second half now at the same score, 21-7, to and we have the ball. So we have an opportunity to cut into this lead, but not if Souza keeps getting pressured and sacked. Pretty good coverage overall, too, from Houston in this game, and so we wanted some extra protection. And now we're just going to launch along, and it's going to be an overthrown pass. So 
three and out for us here. Houston is successful in their first defensive stand of this half. And then Charles Sims escapes one tackler, and he's going to get about nine yards on this carry out of the shotgun handoff. Then second down and one. Pylons back to throw in the pocket over the middle. Leads his man, Spencer, and he makes the catch. The safeties converge and take him down to the 10-yard line. Good play there. First and goal. Pylon now looking to get into the end zone. Collins touchdown. Houston Cougars as it's 28-7 now. Defense started pretty strong, actually, and had a very good stand, but not much since then to stop the big plays. And those are the ones that are really hurting us in this game, and Okach is excited. He has 53 yards rushing in this game. Third and four for Souza, waiting for someone to get open over the middle. Cam Jones takes a shot as he goes to catch the ball. Incomplete. Put him in danger a little bit, flying him across the middle, but uh, I just wanted to go for it anyway. So Charles Sims now escaping two and a half tackles. I'll call that two and a half broken tackles because he kind of slipped at the end there. So second and ten, piling back to throw. Pressure in his face, but he gets his man Spencer on the left side. Darian Starling takes him down, and they've realized just stretch the field and you're probably going to beat our secondary because we do have a lot of inexperienced players and flat out just low overall players. So we're hoping that we can get some good recruits so we can build this team up, obviously. It's a project. That's why I picked this team in the first place. And here's Charles Sims off the screen pass, but he's going to be tackled by Jerron Harris, and that holds him to a field goal. So 31-7. to What can Souza do now here with a 24-point deficit? Waiting forever to throw the ball, and the pass is undercut and picked off by the Cougars. They have the ball inside of the UTSA 30-yard line. This is exactly what you wanted to avoid turnovers and giving up big plays and what was Darian Starling doing on this play trying to cover Spencer that was just man coverage it was base man and um yeah Starling apparently was he was very confused on this play and that was a big play for the Cougars so it's one of the things you have to deal with I guess and also the game needs to be fixed a little bit as far as coverage goes in my opinion so we got second down and one here Eric Souza back in the pocket he finds Brandon Freeman coming across the middle on the nice deep slant that's going to be a first down as Souza breaks 100 yards passing not exactly a milestone but I guess it's something to celebrate about for this team second down and 11 Eric Sosa over the middle intercepted one of Cam Jones again kind of forced that one I'll admit it and Houston gets the turnover and it is not looking good with a 31 point deficit now with some turnovers in succession going deep Starling is beat again by Spencer and that's going to be a touchdown for Houston so this defense is obviously not working out I wanted to stop playing so many too deep zone because I wanted to apply pressure but when I couldn't apply pressure anyways they just took the top off of defense and so we follow suit cam jones going deep he beats his man he's gonna go to the end zone so thank you cam jones for making it look a little bit better and some nice stats on the board for us and it is now 48 to 14 obviously houston in complete control of this ball game souls are rolling to his right throws it last second and brandon freeman makes a catch first down utsa don't want to get the first downs the hard way though so third down and 10 we have john simmons in the game now because souls got roughed up a little bit and so we just put in all the backups give those guys some playing time the team's very young want to help these guys progress marcellus mack here runs a nice route makes the first down catch before going out of bounds good play there now first down and 10 simmons back to throw pressure coming off the edge and he is blindside. I can't blame the offensive line there. That was a free rusher. It was an extra man. And so on 4th and 16 now, Simmons wants to lead his man. He's hit as he throws and obviously probably a little bit scared in the pocket. So 55 to 14, an absolute demolition derby put on by the Houston Cougars but that's what happens guys there's a B they're a B overall team they're actually one of the best teams that we have to face in this conference and so hopefully things can improve we got to get a conference victory this year I mean we can't just win a game against Texas State New Mexico State and call it a successful season even by the standards that we have for this team with being the first year in the FBS and trying to rebuild this roster or build it up for the first time, I should say. So next up, guys, Tulsa. They're 5-2. and two. Do we have a chance? We'll find out next week, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.